Hey, I'm Travis. And I'm Adele. And our channel is all about helping couples in all seasons of marriage walk through crisis and navigate the healing journey together as a couple. We hope you enjoy our channel and follow along this journey. Hey, and welcome back to the channel. This is something we haven't done in a long time is coffee and conversations, where we just have conversations with each other. Yeah. We talk about things that are important to us that may be important to you. And today we've got a special treat. Yes, we do. We are gonna be sharing some of the incredible comments that you guys have been leaving on our channel. Yeah. Wow, we have been so touched and inspired and just in awe because to see that our channel is making a difference for marriages out there, maybe you are one that you were able to see hope through our story. That is what really drives us, is seeing the Lord work in your lives because of the story that we shared. Yeah. And so it's just been so inspiring. It has, I was just thinking back to like some of the emotions that I have personally experienced going through the comments I have enjoyed several things. I've cried through some. I've been yeah. very happy and excited and, and celebrating alongside you as, as you're saying what your wins are. I have had to go dive into the Bible and say, wow, I need to really look at some scripture and things before I jump into this answering this question or comment yeah. or whatever that might be. So it's helped me build my faith, helped me understand what we're doing even more. So thank you for that. That's just me. I, I don't know how you feel about it, but that's just how I feel about going through the comments. Yeah, it's been so interesting because that was something that I've been so looking forward to as a community of people that can share and talk about what's really going on behind closed doors in your marriage. And we're seeing you guys do that on our channel through your comments. And so we just want to say thank you. And we want to share a little bit of what you're saying yeah. and just talk a little bit about that. So this was recently, I subscribed, exclamation marks. You guys are awesome. And thank you for subscribing, by the way. It makes yes. me happy. Yes. Oh, and just a side note that when you subscribe, you are saying that this deserves to be seen by others because that's how YouTube actually raises our content up so that more people get to see it. So just wanted to add that little tidbit. By subscribing, you're saying other people need this too. Yeah. So, so thank you. Thank you. And thank you for subscribing. I subscribed to exclamation marks. You guys are awesome and your advice has encouraged me to be the influencer in my marriage. Wow. Powerful. Thank you so, so much for not giving up on each other and being there for each other and allowing your marriage to be a ministry to others like myself. There's been many dark times when I thought, is this it for us? Is this over? Mm. But you have given me so much hope for my marriage and that there is still hope for a blessed marriage. I pray your marriage grows happier and richer, more fulfilling and satisfying always and forever, and that your marriage ministry will bless many families that need hope and need an example of a married couple that's going through the fire but doesn't smell like a smoke, a marriage that testifies Psalm 27, 13, and this is in quotes, quotations I wrote, that I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Mm. Your marriage is a testament that says even in the midst of troubled and failing marriages all around the world, God can still produce a good marriage if we just come to him and give him our marriage and do it his way. You guys are living proof. Keep it up. You guys rock. Wow. There's so much that I appreciate out of this. One of those, well, thank you for the acknowledgement. But what I really get out of this is that through our example, you made a choice to be an influencer in your own marriage. You, you made the choice to say, hey, I am standing up for my marriage. I'm standing up for my covenant, my vows, and I'm making a choice to be intentional with my marriage and you're intentional with getting advice and, and um, you know, surrounding yourself with wisdom. You're, you're consuming content uh, on our video and you're doing things that would be a testament to uh, others. And so thanks for acknowledging us and I wanna acknowledge you as well for them. Yeah, 
this comment just really touched me because, you know, we talk to a screen and we realize hey, that, <laughs> we realize that this kind of content is very sensitive in nature. Right. And there's going to be a lot of you that don't feel comfortable commenting and we totally get that. But when we get a comment like this and we get to see a glimpse of yeah. what God is doing, it is so fueling and inspiring mm. to our hearts that, okay, if it makes a difference for one person, that's all we care about. Yes. Now what's next? Like, how can we make more of a difference and more of a difference? And that's yeah. how our ministry is going. And so that's what that comment did for me was it just filled my heart so much with joy of, wow, like all the pain that we've been through is so worth it yeah. for that. It is. It's marriage is so beautiful and so rich. And um, I guess I just never really understood the value of, of marriage until just recently. You know, in the last couple of years of our marriage that I've been very intentional with this, I have uh, really taken it for granted what marriage really, truly is and the beauty. There's so much beauty in marriage. Now, I'm sure that you could be like Paul, the Apostle Paul, Paul in the Bible, or, or Jesus, and go through your life and never choose to get married, and people do that all the time. But if you did choose to get married, there's just such a beauty and a richness to it, if you chose to honor that vow. Mm -hmm. Like to really learn each other and to really be with each other. You know, for richer or for poor and richness and, and, and um, richer or poorer and, and uh, sickness, sickness and, and health. health. <laughs> Thank you. Man, those times can be really tough. Yeah. You know, those, sometimes we think about those and we're like, you know, it may not get that bad. It can get bad. I mean, mm -hmm. it can get really bad. It, you can really lose money and uh, one of your, uh, one spouse may make some really poor choices and, you know, it can really affect marriage. And, and I don't think it's really thought about it that much. Right. The impact yeah. of how we act and how it impacts other people. Yeah. All right, what's the next comment? You're okay, here's another comment that is um, we just got recently. I don't know how to get past the shame. I'm sorry, I don't believe in prayer, but I study more monk and stoic philosophy and do believe in God, but not how the Bible portrays. So I have some tools. I just can't get past the anger and guilt I have for myself. I tell myself that I don't deserve her and she doesn't deserve the pain I've caused. She should move on from me, but that hurts me and I know that hurts her. We have been married 12 years and I just hate myself. This one comment affected me the absolute most out of all the comments because I really relate. Yeah, I know you do. I really relate to the, what I would call that shame blanket that I would put on me because I know my past. I don't have amnesia. I know my past. I know my past thoughts and I know my past actions. Mm -hmm. And if I choose to allow that to consume me, which it can, the shame is unbearable and the weight yeah. that comes on me is unbearable. You know, that's the reason I mentioned earlier, you know, I've tried to take my life twice is yeah. because there's so much shame and pain and hurt. It's like, I don't want to live mm -hmm. another day through this. And I don't want my family to ever be exposed to that pain and shame and stuff I've done in my past. And, and that's what I hear and what you're saying. And the part where you're talking about hating yourself, I related to that because I was asked one time, by a therapist, what do you think about yourself? And I was thinking some good thoughts, like I'm, I'm good, I'm nice, people like me. But I got to really thinking about it, and I was like, man, I, I really don't like myself. Hmm. I really don't like who I've become. And when I got really present to not liking myself, I was like, man, that's really sad. It's really sad. And so I'm, I'm sad over, over this comment. And I'm also encouraged. And I want to encourage you back. Um, I do believe that there is a God and I don't think there's anything, uh, I'm, I'm not trying to condemn what you practice or what you're doing. I think that everybody is looking for God. And in Genesis three, uh, when Adam and Eve chose to sin, they didn't, God didn't leave them, they separated. And I think there's been a void ever since, you know, God came looking for them and he still comes looking for us and he's looking for you too. And I think there's a void that's there and it can only be filled by uh, God. It can only be filled by Him. And when we sin, there's a price to pay. There is. Mm -hmm. There is a price to pay. But thankfully, God sent His Son Jesus to die for us. And He paid for that price. 
so that I don't have to pay that price. I don't have to live in that shame. I don't have to live in that condemnation, and neither do you. It says in the Bible, therefore, there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. And I don't have to worry about that because, I, I mean, I can choose to pick it up. I can choose to wear that shame blanket all the time. But I, that would be me choosing to know that Jesus paid for my sins and died on the cross, and I didn't care for that. I didn't respect that. And I'm like, you know what? Thanks for doing that, but I'll still take this on myself. But I can let that go. Uh, the next thing that uh, really impacted me uh, in that is God is a big enough God. He can handle your doubts. He can absolutely handle uh, your doubts of him. And I would just say, just pray out and say, God, show me who you are. Just speak to me. Send people into my life to, to show me who you are. I, I think that he can handle that. And then he can meet you wherever you are. Because that's what he does. He meets you where you are. You're never too far away from him. He's always there. We just have to turn and look and you'll see him. And I just want to speak to from this side of someone who's carrying shame. It blocks the ability for me to heal. When he's carrying around that shame blanket, we can't have conversation because it's like a wall. And so from the betrayed side, there is so much healing and conversation and processing. And if shame is present and you can't process through it, it prolongs the healing process for a long period of time. And when Travis chose to let go of that shame, it's really just a choice. You know, we do a example where if we hold that, sure. if I've got my chapstick in my hand here and there's something in life I really want. So this is going to be considered the shame that I'm holding on to. And what I really want is an intimate relationship over here with my husband, but I can't have that because I can't let go of this. All there is to do, and it is this simple, we just overcomplicate it all. You can make a choice to let it go and take what it is that you want, receive it. Because it's available, but I cannot get it I can't when I'm holding on to shame. And so that's what I would really encourage. You is... can also hold on to this. You can hold on to this and always pick this back up. You can right. let go of that. And I pick can this let back go up. of this and pick the shame back up. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And so I just want to encourage you to ask yourself, what kind of a sentence is that? How mm. long do you need to live in that sentence? because it's not just impacting you, it's impacting your spouse's ability to heal and be fully healed from the trauma that your marriage has been through. So thanks so much for these comments. They really lift us up. They encourage us, they make strengthen us think. Us. They strengthen us, they make us think more. They really are beautiful because we get to hear what you have to say, good or bad indifferent. We've received all of those, but we really enjoy getting the comments so that we're engaged in a community of friends because that's how we right. see you and we appreciate you. Right. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us. And if there's a topic that you want us to talk about on our channel, please comment. Let us know what are some things that you want to hear us say. And we are uh, so open to what is next for this ministry. In fact, you're going to want to join us in the next video. We're going to share how we set a plan for January so that the rest of the year is an amazing year. You're not going to want to miss that. Check that out next week. We'll see you then. Um, after Christmas and it New Year's. It is year. after Christmas and New Year's. Yeah. You haven't done this in a while. Are I know. you nervous? I am nervous. No, I'm excited. Excited. Because they're the same feelings, right? Yes. Which one are you? Excited. It's been so long since yeah. we've done this. Yeah. How long do you think Let's it's been? A few months. Get the jitters out. It has been a few months. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hey. Hello. I totally agree <laughs> with that. Do y'all hear her? <laughs> yeah. Y'all listen to her. <laughs> Um, all right, I'll talk about how we set up January to, to, that's what we did is we set up January. <laughs>
Start two. Us out. Two. Okay. So let's do some talking about what the video should be. I'm thinking charcuterie board videos. What? These videos oh. that you want them to comment on to, for us to do. I say uh -huh. charcuterie boards. You in that word. What else? What are your suggestions of what our videos should be? You have oh, an input. Different marriage topics. Okay, marriage topics. Sounds fun. I don't know. Maybe they want to know about our life. Do they? Do you want to know about our life? We have an amazing life. We do. We work for God. Yeah, I love my life. <laughs> yeah, that takes all the pressure off. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Peace out. Okay, bye. I thought you were... <laughs>